Good morning, Tesoro, and welcome to TNN. Today we'll be taking a look at Thanksgiving, the fall play, and girls' tennis, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Gavin by Room 108, reporting for TNN, and I'm here with... Ryan Adams. So Ryan, what do you do on Thanksgiving? Uh, usually my family likes to make a turkey, and we go, in the morning we do apple picking. Wow, I love, love Thanksgiving. Um, what is your favorite about think favorite thing about Thanksgiving? My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is just sitting down with my family members and um, having a great turkey on Thanksgiving. Nice. What would you say your favorite Thanksgiving tradition is? Uh, probably apple picking with my family in the mornings. That's very nice. I'm Gavin by Room 108 reporting for TNN. Hmm, I think my favorite Thanksgiving food would probably have to be, and don't come at me for this, the stuffing. I actually oh like it. Oh my gosh. I know, what I know. What the heck? I'm no, different. That's I weird. like it. That's all I have to say. You probably only like it because it's different. It's just nasty. I mean, what can I say? I'm one in a million. Ham my name superior. rhymes with that. Ham so. superiority over here. Ham? Yeah. Ham's what you have on New Year's. We're not having this conversation. I like the mashed potatoes. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, fine. I'm Jillian. I'm Ellie. I'm Troy. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Attention to Soro. We've got some brainiacs at our school. If you're struggling in any class, and I mean any class, NHS tutoring is after school in the library. If anyone would like to sign, scan a QR code around campus or on the screen. To the kids blessed with the test on the last day before Thanksgiving break, good luck. And remember, don't stress, do your best, and forget the rest. Attention Titans, since Thanksgiving is coming up, don't forget to set your skills back 10 pounds. Here's a video on what the most popular dish on Thanksgiving is at Tesoro. Hi, I'm Delilah Formanek, out by the lunch tables, reporting for TNN. Thanksgiving break is starting tomorrow, so we should go find out what some of the students at Tesoro's favorite Thanksgiving food is. I guess stuffing. Potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Pumpkin pie, obviously. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Uh, I really like pecan pie. I think it's really delicious. Um, Bye. Mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese. That is a lot of mashed potatoes. Like, I would have to say the same. I do also love potatoes. Outside at the lunch tables, I'm Delilah Formanek reporting for TNN. I will have to say, pumpkin pie and pecan pie is pretty good, too. But stuffing still is amazing. What's this? It, wh oh my what's gosh, happening? It's Jillian's birthday. Oh, my gosh. Happy birthday, Jillian. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Jillian. <laughs> What? Yeah, What's okay. in the president? What is that? I'm very thankful for Jillian over here. She's a big part of TNN. Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> Ooh, nail ah. polish with my favorite shade of yellow. Ooh, some flakes in my nail polish. I love this shiny color. It's so cute. Ooh, and then keep it full. I'm going to be a beauty guru now. This is my cute little <laughs> lipstick. So sweet. Thank can you, I, everybody. Can I borrow that? No, I don't. Oh. I don't want to. No. Okay. Uh -uh. Um, I don't think it's your shade. Oh, ouch. ouch. Okay. Well, that's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Ellie with current events. Thanks, Jillian. Now to waste a minute of your time, the absolute best, sometimes awkward, part of the entire show, Diva and John. As you know, the ultimate senoritas, Sean and Camila, officially have parted ways after two years. The question remains, who should get custody of their fur baby, Tarzan the Golden Retriever? Uh, <laughs> I know I was heartbroken about the Camilla and Sean breakup. I know I didn't really care. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of the, the, well, we gotta think about it. Whose dog was it first? Mm. You know, like, was it Sean's? Because either way, Sean should get it because he's like, you know, hot. So that's, uh, that's priority. That's a little, uh, a mm. little not fair. No, because, because just cause you're hot, you get a dog. Like, no, who's but the he's, kinder? he's also Shawn Mendes. So that's like that's all you need. Dude, he looks like a Ken doll. 
<laughs> a really attractive Kendall. I don't, look, this. at the end of the day, who, like, who who is the kinder person, okay? I that's, don't know, but... I'm the moral person here, so I have the final decision. I um, guess that's our yeah, Reddit. Yeah, so, okay, thank right. you. Bye. I disagree completely. I just think they should send that dog back to the, pel- the shelter. <gasps> what? You know how much that dog probably was, especially Shawn Mendes? That thing yeah. was probably like 10 grand. Yeah, they're Dude. not going to take okay. care of that dog. They're celebrities. It's, it, they're, it's just mean. No. Team- they don't stay at home mm-hmm. enough to ha- take care of that dog. Team Shawn all the way. Camila, Camila's on the curb now. Team shelter. If Shawn needs another date to anything, like a red carpet thing, you know where to find me. I don't think I'm, he does. I'm with her on that. <laughs> <laughs> The last day to pick up a book from the book giveaway at the library is today. Here's a video with more information about these books. I'm Jillian, outside of the library, reporting for TNN. Everyone loves them. They're the things that make you want to cry, laugh, and sometimes fall asleep. They're books. And this week, we're having a free book giveaway at Tesoro. Yes, I said free. From November 15th to the 19th, stop by the library between 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. to see all of our amazing books. You You can pick up mystery books, history books, or even laugh your socks off books. I hope to see you all running to the library to get these books. And remember, the last day to get books is today, so please come by. From the library, I'm Jillian, reporting for TNN. I might have to go and get myself one of those books. Nah, books are for weirdos. (laughs) Whatever. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Tesoro's Talented Theater Arts presents the fall play. A Midsummer's Night Dream is in theaters now. Tickets are on sale today. Get yours online to experience this once-in-a-lifetime amazingness. Prepare your stomachs. Thanksgiving is next week, so we have no school for the entire week. Because we cannot stop talking about this play, TJ interviewed Maya about A Midsummer's Night Dream. Hi, I'm TJ, outside the Performing Arts Hall, reporting for TNN, and I'm here with Maya, who's in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, so, what's A Midsummer Night's Dream about? Um, it's set in 1963 Hawaii. It's about um, two lovers, two gods, and a bunch of mechanicals. Um, there's like three consecutive plots that all tie in at the end. Wow, that's very cool. So, uh, what is your character about? Um, my character is a fisherman who gets casted in the play within a play. Um, he gets casted as a wall, um, and yeah. Wow, that's that's really interesting. So you're the lighting designer, right? Uh, what do you have to do as a lighting designer? Um, I have to program the board, um, and I can't be back in the booth since I'm on stage. So I have someone press a bunch of buttons for me to um, get the show going, and I just design the lights. Wow, that's super cool. Make sure you come see a Midsummer Night's Dream Friday at 7 o'clock and Saturday at 1 and 6 p.m. I'm TJ, outside the Performing Arts Hall, reporting for TNN. That's really interesting. I have to go and see that play before it stops airing. Yeah, same. I'm super excited to watch that. Well, I think if I was in the play, I'd probably be cast as a wall, too, like Maya. I agree. Jillian should be a wall. Yeah, she already is, but that's okay. Okay. (laughs) If that sounds interesting, if that sounds interesting to you, here's a sneak peek of the play. <laughs> what room, fairy? Here comes Oberon. And so my mistress swore that he were gone. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What jealous Oberon? Very skip hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Terry Rash Wanton! Am I not thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. But I know thou hast been playing on pipes of corn and bursting love to Emerus Galetia. Why art thou here? Come from the farthest. Wow. That's a play. That was amazing. It's very professional. I am taken aback by that, and I'm lost for words. That was amazing. You're, are you ever lost for words? No, not, not, oh. not very often. Okay. <laughs> okay, make sure to go and see this play today. And tomorrow are the last day. Today and tomorrow are the last days to witness this also great theater program. That's all I have for you today. Let's move on to Troy to give us a rundown of sports for the week.
Thanks, Ellie. I wanted to wish you guys a happy International Men's Day. Let's go, boys. Last night, Tesoro beat La Jolla in basketball, 50-32. to Carson Brown dropped 22 points and 11 rebounds. Blake Manning, the GOAT, also dropped 7 points and 6 rebounds. Nice job, guys. Next game is on Monday, November 22nd. Good luck, boys. Tesoro Soccer is playing today at Santa Margarita. Good luck, guys. I believe in you. Boys and Girls Cross Country is running on Saturday for CIF. Good luck, runners. You got this in the bag. Girls Tennis won CIF. That's bonkers. Nice job, ladies. There's a video from Diba telling us about tennis. Good morning, Titans. I'm here outside of the 400 Hall with Mr. Harnett. Ten Girls Tennis just won CIF Division Three, which is a huge honor, and we are so proud of them. So, Mr. Harnett, how were you able to coach this team to victory? Well, the old saying is, uh, when the team wins, it's the players. When the team loses, it's the coach. So, I think this year there's some truth to that. I'm so proud of them, and I'm so glad you were able to lead them to victory. What made this team of girls different from all the other teams you've coached? It's the deepest team I think our school's ever had, where we probably have five, maybe six kids who are going to play college tennis. That's, that's not normal. So we've always had a few talented kids and lots of girls who play pretty well, but the deepest team we've ever had. And an outstanding freshman who's probably the best 14-year-old in Orange County. That kind of helps. Well, I know that they are all so talented. And finally, Mr. Harnett, we heard you're a UVA alumni. How did uh, your experience going there help you coach? Well, I played college tennis and I sat on the bench. So I know what it's like to sit on the bench. A team kept getting better every year and so did I, but sometimes things just don't work out. And so maybe part of coaching is um, helping everybody see that the, the direction of the team isn't based on any one player. Well, I know all that coaching experience really came together and we're so proud of all the girls for doing so well. And we can't wait to see what they do in the individual CIFs. So from outside of the 400 hall, I'm here with Mr. Harnett reporting for TNN. Yeah, I also sit on the bench a lot, so me and Har Mr. Harnett got something going here. Well, I'm left-handed, so that's a handicap in itself because everything goes out of court. Yeah, I run, so... Um. Nerd. That's all <laughs> I have for sports today. Now with the Jillian to finish the show. That's all we have for you today, DeSoro. Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Have a mashed potato, cranberry, turkey stuffed Friday. Good thing.